back from my break and this is a video I've been waiting to do for a very long time and I'm equally excited and equally nervous about it and some of the editing might be atrocious but believe me it's my first time well, doing something like this so anyway the name of this video is my top 10 Kingdom Hearts characters spanning the entire series. Video, I'll be going over some of my favorite characters from the entire Kingdom Hearts series. From Kingdom Hearts 1, Birth by Sleep, and onward. And I will be excluding the Key Saga mainly because even I don't understand it. But anyway, let's get right into it. Number 10. Master Xehanort from Birth by Sleep. I've always loved Master Xehanort because uh, on one hand he's a very, very, very two-faced character. Throughout Birth by Sleep he, he manipulates Terra at every turn and he sets the tone for the rest of the series. He basically makes his mark in Birth by Sleep as the main antagonist of the series and I'm really really looking forward to putting an end to him in Kingdom Hearts 3 when it releases this year and what I've also loved about Master Xehanort is the fact that he's willing to admit that he made a mistake whenever he does and generally I've always loved him as a villain and I've always loved him as a character overall and and so that is why Master Xehanort is at number 10 on this list and at number 9 from Kingdom Hearts 1 and some Secret of Darkness the main antagonist of the first game In Kingdom Hearts 1 you first hear of and some Seeker of Darkness at the very, very beginning when you're in Traverse Town and you meet Yuffie and Leon. And of course, throughout the first game, he manipulates. He, along with Maleficent, manipulate Riku at every turn, just like Xehanort manipulated Terra at every turn. And he made Riku succumb to the darkness towards the end of the game and then he took his true form and even though he turns out to not be the true antagonist he's still a rememberable, a rememberable character and a very likable character. He taunts Riku throughout Reed Chain of Memories and in Dream Jock Distance and he makes Riku prove that he has truly overcome the darkness and Riku does does not disappoint and Ansem overall is one of my favorite villains from the Kingdom Hearts series and so that's why he's at number nine on this list number eight Axel from Reach Into Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2 a very likable character though introduced as an enemy and reaching a memories, Axel becomes a valuable ally later on in the series. His death is very, very sad in Kingdom Hearts 2, but he does come back in Dream Drop Distance as Lee and demonstrates that he truly is on the side of good and he earns himself a Keyblade and is being trained under under Merlin as well as Kyrie. And though he might seem two-faced and evil at first and at times, he's still a likable character, which is why he is on this list at number eight. At number seven, Xemnas from Kingdom Hearts 2 and the nobody of Master Xehanort and the antagonist of Kingdom Hearts 2. In Kingdom Hearts 2, we meet Xemnas, leader of the Organization 13, and the nobody of Master Xehanort. 
though he promises Roxas answers when he first comes into existence, he goes back, he turns his back on that promise to Roxas and ultimately betrays him by ordering the, des des that, the destruction of either him or Shion in 358 and ultimately leads to Roxas leaving the organization, setting the mood for Kingdom Hearts 2, and though at times he is most definitely a villain, he's still very, very likable in many, many ways, and so that's why he's on this list at number 7. Number 6, Shion from 358 over 2 days, the, and the best friend to both Axel and Roxas. 358, we are introduced to Shion for the very first time as the 14th member of the organization. Shion is a puppet, a replica of Sora's memories of Kairi, hence the reason why she resembles Kairi. Though she has her own personality, and she becomes very close friends with Axel and Roxas. She can be stubborn at times, and her death is definitely the saddest moment of the Kingdom Hearts series. But she is very, very self-sacrificing, and she went willingly, knowing that it had to be done. And her self-sacrifice and her loving relationship with Axel and Roxas is why I love her so much and is why she's on this list at number six. At number five, I just could not separate these two, but Donald and Goofy from the entire Kingdom Hearts series because I, again, couldn't separate the two. I just could not separate these two because they are very iconic characters both in Disney and in Kingdom Hearts. Though in battle they might be, well useless at times, especially Donald, but still, they are very reliable allies to Sora, and oftentimes, Goofy can be the smartest character in the universe, and they team up with Sora and often head butt, butt heads with Sora. They are most definitely one of my favorite characters, well, two of my favorite characters the Kingdom Hearts series, which is why I could not separate them at, on this list at number 5. At number 4, the main protagonist of the Kingdom Hearts series, the main man himself, and the wielder of the Keyblade, Sora. Alright, alright. Everyone put your pitchforks down for this one. Let me explain. When I first started out as a Kingdom Hearts fan, he was definitely my favorite character. And as the story progressed, there's just like so much about him that I sort of don't like and Dream Drop Distance he comes off as well kind of a doofus but he is a very loving character he always puts friendship before anything else especially himself he sacrifices himself to save Kyrie in Kingdom Hearts 1 creating Roxas he reminds me a lot of myself And he's willing to do anything for his friends. And so, even though he might be naive at times, he's still a lovable character. And which is why he's at number four on this list. At number three, one of the main characters of Birth by Sleep and the doppelganger of Roxas, Ventus. At the end of Birth by Sleep, Ventus gives up his heart to save Terra and Aqua. And his heart is badly damaged, and he takes refuge within Sora, giving Sora the ability to wield the Keyblade. And though Sora's Keyblade wasn't intended for Riku, he lost that right when he succumbed to the darkness. And Sora is able to wield the Keyblade because of Ventus, and Ventus is a lot like Sora in a lot of ways. And once again, Ventus is willing to do anything for his friends. 
going above and beyond for them. And he reminds me a lot of myself, like Sora, which is why he's at number three on this list. At number two, one of Sora's best friends and one of my favorite characters of all time, Riku. Kingdomots one, Riku is definitely, well, a jerk. In fact, he's one of the antagonists at first. But in Rechain, he starts to do a whole 180. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, he definitely redeems himself. And he's the ultimate example of how, how, how far you fall from grace does not matter. Because there's always a route back to the light. And... At first he's granted Soul Eater, but when he realizes that he's truly good, it evolves into, into Way to the Dawn. And Riku is most definitely one of the best characters of the Kingdom Hearts series, which is why he's on this list at number two. And at number one, my favorite Kingdom Hearts character of all time, Sora's nobody, Roxas. And finally, at number one, y'all probably heard me say this a gazillion times, my main man, Roxas. His appearance is exactly like that of Ventus, because when Sora gave up his heart to save Kyrie, part of his heart belonged to Ventus, hence the reason why Roxas looks and sounds exactly like Ventus. And at first, he seems like a zombie in 358. He learns a lot of what it means to have a heart. And though his story is the saddest of all the main characters, he's still able to enjoy his existence with Axel and Shion. And though a lot of people don't find his existence all that important, it truly is. Because without Roxas, Sora would not be able to dual wield Keyblades in Kingdom Hearts 2. And his confrontation with Sora both in Kingdom Hearts 2 and in Recoded displays exactly how much hurt he has deep inside, built up over the course of over a year. And he reminds, once again, just like with Sora, Ventus, and Riku, Sora reminds me a lot of myself, which is why he's my favorite character, and he's at number one on this list. Well, thanks you guys for stopping by, and keep in mind when I did the voiceover I was very tired and believe me I do not want to go back and redo all that stuff believe me and I might not seem very enthusiastic and when I do the you know when I show my face that's because well once again I'm tired and my throat really really hurts but anyway thank you so much for stopping by I I'm gonna try my best to do better at editing my next Kingdom Hearts video next Friday. So stay tuned for that next week. I'll see you here. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad I did this. So goodbye, everyone. I'll see you next week. Thanks for the support.